Hello everyone and welcome to the, I believe this is the fifth video in our OpenGL series. Today we're going to be uh, finishing our little matrix tutorial and we're going to be uh, installing a package called GLM that I talked about in the matrix crash course and in this and we'll then we'll be uh, testing some of the code uh, and we'll and I'll be showing you guys how all of this works and how it works in relation to what we just looked at uh, with the tr transformation matrices um, so I added this package to the tutorial or the installation tutorial uh, in this repository um, so all you're gonna do is you're gonna go to this link which I will put in the description here uh, well it's gonna be oh no it's gonna be over here oh yeah it's gonna be this link here uh, you're gonna want to click on the latest tag and then go to the zip file and download it. Like I already, I just did it, so I'll, I just test, tested it just to make sure it worked, and it did. Um, so we can get rid of that. And now in the downloads, uh, you'll see it here. So go ahead and extract to GLM, or just extract it. Go into this directory, go into that directory, and then you should find this GLM directory that is surrounded by all these files. Just go ahead and drag that into your uh, linking slash include directory. So in your pro in your solution directory, go to linking, include, and then drag this GLM directory into here. And this GLM directory should have all of these files in here with it. And now uh, we can go ahead and actually test uh, some of the code that we have here. So let me, uh, I can minimize that, minimize that. And this library is pretty simple just because it only requires header files that it already has defined. So that's pretty good. So um, let me go ahead and just uh, refresh the directory. And now before anything, uh, now before, I, I'm just gonna add some test code just to make sure this works uh, before we create our window and all that. So before the hello world, or after, before glfw.init, uh, let's just say GLM test like that. Um, so we're going to have to include a couple of directories. So let's do include uh, GLM slash GLM dot HPPP HPP uh, include uh, GLM slash GTC slash matrix transform dot HPP and then include GLM slash GTC slash type ptr pointer dot hpp like that and then now we can uh, see how this is going to work so uh, glm colon, uh, vec4 so 40 vector like the coordinates that we saw uh, vec and we're going to initialize it just with uh, 1.0 f in the x and then 0, 0.0 f uh, in the y and z and then 1.0 f uh, for the uh, shading i I believe that this is, it's called W, well, is there, um, yeah, it, don't worry about it. Uh, all right, so that's our vector, and now you want to create a transformation matrix. So GLM, um, mat4, so 4 by 4 matrix, and it's going to be trans, uh, is equal to GLM, mat4, 1.0F, so we just want to uh, initialize it um, with one ma uh, one along the we're creating an identity matrix here essentially so identity matrix this is how we uh, cr base all of the matrices that we will eventually use to transform coordinates in the future um, but yeah so that is the identity matrix uh, and then we want to we want to make this uh, transformation matrix translate uh, the vector by some uh, number so uh, trans is equal to GLM translate and we're going to pass in the matrix the identity matrix right now and then GLM oh what's happening uh, vec 3 because we uh, we're only just going to be passing in three numbers here so uh, translation in X translation in Y and translation in Z um, so what we should see here uh, is that the vector will be translated uh, to 2, 1, 0. Um, but now we actually have to apply that. So vec is equal to trans times vec. 
and this matters which one we put first because remember the, this is not a uh, commutative multiplication it has the matrix has to be on the left you can't do vec times equals trans um, just because it doesn't work like that all right um, so uh, we can also uh, now let's just print this out just to make sure it works so std c out vec dot x v, uh, space vec dot y space and uh, vec dot z and then n y all right so when we build this this should all work out let me just make sure it does we should get a two one zero and we do good so we get a two one zero and that's what we want um, and now let's uh, try and rotate it and then scale it um, so let's just start with the identity matrix again uh, so hold on translation so let's try a rotation uh, I guess it's saying, um, so it, this example over here, I'm looking at over here, it wants it to scale uh, the, the item by 0.5 in all directions and then rotate it 90 degrees around the Z axis. Okay, um, so let's get the, we'll use the identity matrix. And uh, so we'll say trans, equal to GLM rotate trans and then GLM radians 90.0f because we want to convert de from degrees to radians this would also be equal to pi over 2 radians if you want to be big brain um, but yeah and then we're going to pass in a vector just to say uh, which one to apply it to so GLM vec 3 and we're going to apply it 0 and none of it to the x none of it to the y but a whole thing to the z like that uh, that's so that's the uh, rotation uh, and then finally we'll be doing uh, the scaling so trans is equal to glm scale and it's going to be trans again we'll pass in the uh, existing matrix right now the existing transformation matrix and we'll do glm vec3 we want to do it uh, half the size in X, half the size in Y, and half the size in Z as well. Um, so that should be that. Uh, and then when we go ahead and print this out, I'm not sure what we should get, but I mean, if we're, hmm. Let me just try the scaling first, just because. Um, because I don't know what the rotation should give us, so let, let me just see how this works. All right. Um, so if it's at one 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 and we scale it by 0 0.5, we should just get a 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and we do. Okay. So that is essentially how this library works. We essentially just have all the tools of translation, of rotation, of scaling at at, at a disposal of just a single function call. Uh, so. Um, that is essentially the GLM library. Uh, this is all stuff that we'll be getting into in the next. Um, but yeah, so this will be fun to look at. And we can uh, pick this up next time. Uh, where we'll, I believe in the next video I'll, I'll actually be talking more. I'll be giving another math crash course, possibly on derivatives or integrals, because we'll need that in order to make our game engine. Or we'll probably just end up getting into more graphics uh, and getting f into actually putting more stuff on the screen or putting stuff on the screen period and then we can apply this translation stuff um, so yeah that's exciting and I will see you guys then bye